In this tutorial video, I'm going to explain how you can add a second scene to a co-space and also how you can add an object in your first scene, which when clicked by the player will teleport the player from the first scene to the second scene. Now this can be especially useful because often you, you might find your co-space has a limited area and you want to combine your co-space between two areas so there's more room. So let's create our co-space. Uh, we'll choose an empty scene. Now the first thing we should do is add our second scene. So you can click up here on the top left and add a new scene. And just like that we've got two scenes. Now you can see they're identical so it's probably a good idea to add some sprite from our library so we can tell the scenes apart. I'll put this sprite in here. And in the second scene, I'll put another sprite. Just so that we've got a way to tell in between the scenes. Okay, the next thing we need to do is, it's probably a good idea to activate code on this sprite so it can talk. Um, we can double click it and then we can choose code. So that activates code blocks. So we can actually program this sprite in code blocks. We'll do the same with our sprite in scene two. We'll go to code and we'll use in code blocks. Okay, now um, we can probably get rid of this menu since we're not going to need the library anymore. And then um, we should travel over here to co the code section, go to code blocks. And when play clicked, it's let's get our sprite to actually talk. So we'll get it to say hi and maybe give the user an, an instruction. Click me to teleport to scene two. Okay. Um, now, then what we want to do is we want to make it so that when the sprite's clicked, the user will teleport. So we can scroll down a little bit. And here's the one we want. So when that sprite is clicked, and we'll now you might need to activate additional blocks. Some of these blocks you might not find unless you click on settings and go to advanced code blocks. If it's only on beginner code blocks, you won't see all the blocks. Then we can scroll down, and we're going to find the teleports feature. So go to scene and go to scene two. Now you could do also even program the sprite in scene 2 so that you can click on the sprite on scene 2 to go back. But for now, we're just going to make sure we can teleport from scene 1. Okay, now let's test this out. We'll press play. Okay, we begin in the scene just in front of the camera. And when we click, teleport it to scene 2. So it's working as we want it to.